Jerome village, located in Bochi local government area, is one of the rural communities in close proximity to the state capital. Despite having limited financial resources, some women here are fighting for the survival of their families. <laughs> Akima Gambo, an agent of a digital banking system, is helping these women by registering them for accounts opening to support their businesses. Hakima herself holds an NCE, but she has been unable to secure a job. She takes on multiple jobs and spends no less than 4,000 naira daily to provide for her family. <laughs> Most of the days we are going out without taking our breakfast because if I wake up without any cobble in my hand, I used to go out and seek for the morning. When we come back, then we cook. If I get it, we will cook. If I do not, we will just rely on waiting for their father. And their father, when their father, uh, their father is giving us food, but it's only the, he is giving us what is not enough for us because I am not the only wife in his place. Young and old, these women have stories to share about how their circumstances have forced them to become self-reliant. These women have unique stories of resilience and they demonstrate their unwavering support for their families amidst the current economic situation. Their gathering here today serves as a powerful example of their determination to actively seek ways to improve their economic conditions. Our team followed some of them to their homes. One of them, Rukaiya Hassan, lives in a humble hut and shoulders the responsibility of taking care of eight children as well as her ailing husband, who cannot afford hospital care. Okay. We met her children having lunch, and she feeds them from the profit realized from her small business as she sends them out to hawk goods on a daily basis. My children are not in school. They dropped out because we cannot afford their education. All we are after is to get food to eat. Another woman, Ramatu Suleiman, takes care of her aged mother, alien husband, Ailing son and other children. She relies on the help of others and the money she earns from making cornmeal porridge. We make sales of 3,000 or 4,000 daily, sometimes. The children return without selling everything. We also encountered a young girl returning from the woods after spending several hours there. She lives with three widowed women who have little or no means of income. The support that these women receive mostly come from non-governmental organizations, with many of them benefiting from a savings loan scheme provided by Economic Development Associates. These stories highlight how families often rely on women for support during challenging times. Hajara Aliyu, Channels Television News.